Flatters up from beyond. And away they go from the 1,400 meter mark. What now my Jao and Jordan Torn just bumped each other when they started said go. From that deep draw, Miracle in Motion was the first one to respond with national disgrace. They're pushing forward from that wide draw to try and set up into a handy position. Enchanted Stry is perfectly poised on the inside rail alongside Golden Corn. Then a further half a length back to Rainbow Lorikeet, who's racing five lengths off the leader. What now my Dow's moved up alongside her. Then a further two lengths back to Lady Luck, who's racing just ahead of True Horizon with Diamond Rockstar. Then another two lengths back to Siliana racing alongside Look Forward and Lady of Vision is last of all about 12 lengths separating top to tail as they've got about 700 meters left to go. National Distress is now the sole leader. Miracle in Motion half a length back and second on the outside of Enchanted Stry. Then comes Golden Corn who's racing alongside Rainbow Lorikeet who has four lengths to find. What now my gal hooks out towards the outside for a run then comes True Horizon. Then comes Lady Lux. Liana moves towards the inside and a long way back to Lady of Vision they spread right across the track. 450 meters left to go. Rainbow Lorikeet Keats is the first one to move up down towards the inside rail. Enchanted Stries down the center with True Horizon National Distress. As they're into the final 200 meters, it's Rainbow Lorikeet who's hit the front, gone two lengths clear. True Horizon out the pad chasing with Golden Corn. Then comes down towards the inside, look forward. But Rainbow Lorikeet, welcome to the winner's box. Wins going away at the end. Then came True Horizon into second. Look forward is back in third. Then came Golden Corn in fourth. The winner right down towards the inside rail, the pink sleeves and yellow cap. Alder Demare for the Candace Bass Robinson stair. We can see very untidy with True Horizon and National Distress just in behind. But Rainbow Delorite, there's no match for the winner here in the afternoon. And finally gets a drive to the fourth time of Austin and wins well. Number one, Rainbow Delorite for race number three. Race three, race Cape Proud by Hollywood Bet's Open Maiden for the Phillies and Mares. It's been won by number one, Rainbow Lorikeet, the daughter of Karari. Well done to Sandili Mdulwela. He receives his thousand rand thanks to Hollywood Bet's and Cape Racing. Elder Demo, jockey board. Elder, well done. Yeah, thank you, Vicky. She's a filly that, uh, you know, she's been the 1,400 metres before, but I think was the draw a huge uh, plus for her today? No, I think the biggest plus that Mona got off and I got on, so I thought there was a lot of confidence there. And uh, smart filly, I didn't know a lot about her, but um, I could feel that she wants to be conserved. And she came out, she had nice gate speed. The initial intention was to have her in the box seat, but it uh, didn't pan out that way because there weren't decent fractions. And uh, she was happy where she wanted to be, and I just trusted her. Smart sort of filly, still very weak, but uh, nice turn of foot. And... Uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to strengthen up on that. Uh, going wasn't ideal for her, so I'm pretty sure there's a few things we can work on that'll get a bit more out of her. As I say, she's not at her optimum strength yet, which is a good thing. So uh, I think Zach and all his friends will have a lot of fun with her. He put me under a lot of pressure this week. I think the only thing that was going to beat her here was him. But uh, anyway, despite what he said, everything worked out quite nicely. So to him and, and all his mates, I'm pretty sure they're very pleased with this. Nice to see the young blood coming into the game. So to Zach, well done for, for the efforts, the Yappy Syndicate. So to him, his friends and all his girlfriends, Jessica, Tiffany, Elizabeth, he never mentioned all of them to me, but he said those are the three I need to mention. So well done to him and the rest of the crew. <laughs> well done to Aldo and uh, Zach loving that interview. Candice, well done. Thank you. As you, you said, leading into the, the race, you know, she is a filly that's still coming through to hand and as her, her mom also got better as she got older. Yeah, Abiki, um, I trained him. Her mom was the first group winner for me. Um, and she was a filly that really only, you know, blossomed later on in life. And I think this filly will, as she goes along and strengthens up, she's still a little bit light. And I opted to give her a break because she'd had a couple of runs in a run. She wasn't really handling her racing as well as I'd like her to at that stage. Um, so I think she can still improve a lot more physically. Um, she's always shown that she's had ability. Um, you know, her last, her, her, all her races really, I mean, they, they've been pretty consistent races and I mean, she's taken on some strong company. So um, I'm pleased that uh, she's got her maiden out of the way today. I'm sure all these guys will be very happy. It's a, it's a nice initiative that, that Zach's put together. Um, and obviously a lot of people that have come to, to the party to help, um, you know, get the youngsters involved in this game. So super to have them all here and even better to have a winner. It would just have been nice if there were just a few more here today <laughs> to enjoy the win. But well done to all of them and to Wilke Bolstrup, to Redo and very kindly um, leased them out to the syndicate. So well done to them too and uh, very nice win. She'll, she definitely won't stop here, I don't think. Candice, well done. Thank you. That's Candice uh, going to saddle up the rest of the runners. But yeah, yeah come across. Zach, I asked you off air if there's a story. So please do tell. There is a story. But I've just got to start off by saying, number one, a huge thank you to Mary Slack and Jahan Malheba. Without them, we would have never been afforded this opportunity. 
Uh, their generosity has been exceptional. They've uh, let us share in the race career of this filly. And yeah, she looks like she, she could be something. So hopefully onwards and upwards from here. But uh, yeah, thank you to them and thank you to Candice for all she did in helping me put it together. And also Cape Racing and Greg Boards played a part as well. So thank you to him. The Yuppie Syndicate, what's, what's, uh, who's that? Who have you collected together? So what it is, is it was an idea I had probably exactly a year ago where I wanted to get more young people into racing by myself and Shannon, who's in this horse as well. There were pretty much no other young people owning horses. And that to me, I couldn't accept that. I needed more young people here. I needed a shot horses home with my friends. And so I went on to set up the syndicate. So there's uh, 10 of us and yeah, all under the age of 30 and most of them new owners and most of them their first winners, such as Ruff here. But uh, just to yeah, all my other partners in this horse, to Cameron in Australia, I think I heard him shouting. Um, <laughs> he's missed today as well as um, Kaylin and Ryan in the UK and Maxine in Joburg. And then there was uh, Nick and Alyssa. They unfortunately had to work and Shannon's at Varsity. And uh, thankfully Ruff came through to represent as well. Well done for the win. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. So am I right in saying first horse, first winner? Unreal. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic just being on the pitch, you know, with one of my longest friends. Um, coming out here and leaving it in has been absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I just want to extend my, my, uh, my gratitude to all the stakeholders involved. And, um, yeah, thank you. We look forward to a lot more... Uh, excitement and joy and wins in the future out of this uh, filly. Thank you. You just got to describe when the filly's now going across the line and you're realising this is it, the moment's happening, how, how are you feeling? I mean, to be honest with you, it's so much to take in in the moment. You know, you're not even, you're not even really there. It's going to take me the next... Uh, couple of hours and time into my test this evening yeah, but I test today please <laughs> focus <laughs> we also be uh, processing this this massive event um yeah it's it was it's honestly unbelievable and i think you know this is a really great opportunity you know n from now on you know for young people um to get involved in this because it's just such an amazing experience that we not many people my age know about well, I'm glad that you could do the celebrating and uh, enjoy good, all the best for the test. At least you started off winning, so well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Eh? <laughs> Zach, you want to add something? Yeah, just one last point. I saw Aldo in work this last Saturday and I said to him, just don't fall off. <laughs> I was almost certain she would win. I phoned Ralph. I said, Ralph, I said, I know you're riding a test, but you got to get you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done for calling it. Well done. <laughs> no, just over the moon. Thank you. Well done. Well done to you guys. Enjoy the celebrations and fantastic for uh, the Yuppie Syndicate and well done to Wilkerbos Drift and Ritzfontein leasing the filly to the Yuppie Syndicate. And nice to have a collection, as Zach mentioned, of 10 youngsters, all under 30, to enjoy the sport that we all love and uh, appreciate. So number one, Rainbow Lorikeet, the daughter of Karari, is your winner.